Hello there, welcome back to the channel. This is the part two of the minimal API series. In this, we are going to see how to add EF core to our minimal API application with ABP. As always, I have created the blog post. You can follow along. We will also be following along the blog post. Um, let's, uh, I already have a folder here which already has the hello world um, application. We will go and create our new project in the same folder. And this time we name it as a minimal EF with ABP. I will create it and we can go in and then check. Uh, again, this is a very minimal application which has only one file. Now we have to add the packages. So in the last video, we added um, these four packages, but now we have to add um, additional uh, two packages. They are these two. So if you just look at these two, uh, these are entity framework core packages. Uh, one is for SQLite and another one is for design. The SQLite uh, is used because we are going to use the SQLite database and the design is to enable the database migration. So the first step is let's add all the packages. We added Autofac, let's add core. Okay, so if you see here, we have added all the packages necessary. Let's um, check out the program.cs. The program.cs has a very simple um, Hello world application. In the hello world application, they are mapping the default route and then displaying hello world. Let's remove all those things and then let's start building our own application. So the first step is to create the entity. I will copy that and then put it in the program.cs. Uh, we can actually just go for aggregated root and that's inside entities. Okay, now we have the book class, and the next step is creating the DB context. DB context um, is going to be my DB context. The name of the DB context is my name, my DB context, and then we'll add all the input. Okay, so if you look at the DB context, it's a pretty common way of doing ABP things. There is nothing changing here. Um, just keep a note of this change here. We usually don't do this. Uh, this is for null safety. So we are actually using a set to set the DB set. Um, other than that, we are using, we are saying that DB context to use SQLite and I think that is another using missing. And the only new thing I'm doing here is I'm actually setting a default data for this model. So when the migration happens, it will automatically seed one data called my book inside the books entity here. So the next step is to create the module. To create the module, we will put it here and then import modularity and we are mentioning that uh, the database context has default repositories on all the entities. And we are also adding the MyDB context to the service. And again, we are telling use SQLite. Now we have all the, we have the module, we have the DB context and we have the entity. So the next step is just creating the minimal API. So for that, you just first Create the builder, the builder top. So we are creating the builder, setting the builder to saying the builder to use autofac and replacing the configuration with the configuration we added, and then adding the module and then creating the app. Next is mapping the request. So first I will use repositories. Um, and also use MVC. Okay, so uh, we are mapping slash books. That is the request we are uh, mapping. And when slash book happens, 
we are going to list all the books available and it's actually using the default repositories which are available in ABP. Um, since it's just a GET request and uh, the GET request which just lists uh, the books, uh, that is the reason I have added um, hash data. So I have seeded the default data during the migration. So when this works, the, the table already has one record. And when we come and query the data here, we can easily see it. Okay, we have our module, we have our uh, DB context, and we have our entity, and we also configured the uh, minimal APIs and then minimal API will return a list. Let's, the last step is to set the connection string. So uh, when the migration happens, the app settings should have a connection string, which says where is the, where is the location of the file or the database? Because we are using SQLite, I will use. I will just store it in the same folder as my source code. Um, yeah, the database name is um, DB. Make sure the connection string name is default because that's what ABP looks for and then takes it automatically. Okay, once that is done, we can go back and um, clear the console first. And now it's the time to add the migration. Okay, I see an error now. Um, let's see what we made. It's a mistake. Okay, the minimal module is missing. The depends on. So just update that. We are mentioning here the minimal module depends on MVC, AutoFact, and then SQLite uh, modules. So once that is done, let's run it again. Okay, our migrations are ready. Now let's go and check the migrations. You can actually see the create table method has a name of books and it has a bunch of fields and then the insert data is also available and it's inserting a data with the name property in it and the name is my book okay now we can run the database update this will uh, create the database for us yes here is the database we have and now let's run the app okay the app is running at port 7291 let's open it and then go to books or book when we go to book we see the book we created is available and the concurrency and the id is also available and you can also see the logs of ef core here where it selects ID, concurrency, snap, and extra properties and name from the books and B. And if you want to go and check the um, database, you can come and see it, the SQLite Explorer. You will see we have one data and the data is my books and it's the same data which we received right now. Okay, that is pretty much uh, for this video. We just um, used the minimal APIs to create a API endpoint to retrieve a data from the database. Uh, we used um, ABP modules and we used uh, ABP DB context and uh, ABP entity. So most of the functionalities which are available in ABP can be easily used uh, in the minimal API design. Um, and if you check out the uh, number of lines, so the current number of lines, you have 80 li 81 lines and 81 lines, you have a API running with a connection made to a database. So in the next video, we will see how to create a proper CRUD application, how to set up the Swagger UI and all those things. Make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when we put that out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.